Your first child was born with cerebral palsy. He is now 21 years old. So how did you realize uh, that, that was going to change your life, and how have you dealt with that issue? Yeah, even uh, I, was, uh, I was 29 years old when Zane, our son, was born. Um, and if you had even asked me maybe even an hour before he was born what was going through my head, um, it was all about, oh, is the nursery going to be ready? What's going to happen to our weekends now we have a son? Um, and when will Anu, my wife, get back to a job and so on? But obviously everything changed that night. Um, he was born uh, because of uh, an undetected in utero distress asphyxiation uh, with severe uh, brain damage and that led to cerebral palsy and he's quadriplegic now. Um, the first, I would say, David, maybe even two years or more even, um, I was more about like, why did this happen to me? Why, what happened to us? And all of these plans that I had uh, are now all uh, been thrown up in the air and changed. Um, whereas Anu, my wife, what came naturally to her uh, as a mother was she said, okay, I'm not going back to my job. I'm going to really care for my son, uh, drive him around for the, you know, therapy after therapy. Uh, and I watched that. Uh, without schooling me, I got schooled uh, that nothing happened to me. Uh, what happened was to my son, and that it was time for me to understand that, realize that, see life through his eyes, and then do my duty as a father. That, to me, perhaps, you know, didn't come in one moment. It's something that I think took time. Uh, but as I figured it out, it changed me, both Great. as obviously a parent, but also who I am today and how I approach everything. Now, your wife was trained as an architect. That's right. And she's given up doing That's that right. for a while. That's right. Now, you have two daughters. Uh, one of your daughters has uh, severe learning disabilities as well. And how did that affect you and your wife? In fact, one of the things that happened because of our son was uh, we built up in a, a tremendous community of people, uh, whether it was the therapists or other parents with ch you know of uh, children with disabilities, and so we were involved in that community. By the time our youngest daughter came uh, into our lives, um, I must say we had the the richness of this community to support us. Uh, and it turned, when we recognized very early on, and Anu and I, and Anu in particular, was uh, very quick to realize that uh, she will need additional help. Um, and so we found this school actually in Vancouver, BC, um, which was all around uh, neuroplasticity. The idea was to you can train your brain uh, to learn, so instead of compensating. And so we decided that, you know what, we're going to move the family to Vancouver. Zane was going to stay with me in uh, Seattle. My daughters and my wife were going to live in Vancouver. We were going to commute again over right. the weekends. Uh, but the thing that, that all, quite honestly, that is where it came all naturally to us because in some sense, Zane had taught us uh, what it takes uh, to give uh, you know, you know, people with disabilities the best shot. And so it, you know, it's something that we took on. And your son uh, lives with you now. Yes. And uh, one of the, the qualities that you say you got from all this was empathy, and that the result of having empathy made you a better CEO and a better person. Is that fair? Yeah. In fact, when I look at empathy, and most people think empathy is just something that you reserve uh, you know, uh, for your life and your family and your friends or what have you, but the reality is I think it's an existential priority for a business. Because if you look at it, like what is our business? Our business is to meet unmet, unarticulated needs of customers. There is no way our innovation to meet unmet, unarticulated needs is going to come about if we don't listen. Not just listen to the words, but got, don't go deep to understand right. what the needs are behind it. So I think empathy is core to innovation. Um, and life's experience, uh, if you listen and you learn from, uh, teaches you. I, I, I wouldn't claim, as I've sort of even talked about it, with any innate capability of empathy that I was born with. If anything, it's life that has taught me. Uh, and if anything, my pursuit is every year is there growing sense of empathy for people around me.